at Thatcher's funeral. <laughs> that was just a street procession. <laughs> just because you were high, it didn't make it a funeral. <laughs> you just got high on the same day she died. <laughs> Are we rolling? We right watched the coffin day. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we really? Started. All right, oh, yeah. Chipper. Yeah. Okay, All right, fine. first off, we've been sitting here for an hour waiting for Chipper <laughs> to get his shit together. And we've been rolling for the last five minutes, so I apologize. We're and apparently the cameras aren't going to match, and we said, don't give a fuck. One of the Just cameras has got an outfit on, and the other one. <laughs> Chipper and Miley and their fucking precious cameras. <laughs> fuck off. Yeah, I one of the it. one of the cameras has a nice nice outfit on, and the other one doesn't. They <laughs> don't match. The other one's nude. I'm so, going to flick a I'm going to flick an onion ring at Chipper. Awesome. Oh, oh that's so. Cool. Another one. It's, it's, it's quite a weapon. Oh, it's almost. Weapons of mass destruction. Are we gonna officially? Oh, that one exploded. Are we gonna officially start this fucking thing? Right. Yeah. Should we start at the podcast? Should we start it? This is we... the Trailer Perp Boy podcast. I think it's up, what, number 10? It doesn't matter. Eight. Number eight. 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 This is the first time we've broadcast on location. We're live in London, England at the fucking Oxford, aren't we? In Kentish Town. That's right. Fucking right out of her, too. It's supposed to be live at Abbey Road, but it's fucking pouring rain out. But it's kind of cool that we're in Engl England. Yeah, we were supposed to be live from Abbey Road, but we got fucked Just over by the, by the English weather. <laughs> I can verify That's true story. I can verify that. Okay, we we've got a couple, couple fucked up guests today. This is the biggest podcast we've ever done. We've got the two coolest guests ever <laughs> here today. Noel Fielding, Mike Fielding. We've basically been blackmailed into being in their show. <laughs> Ricky shoved a gun in their face and said, get the fuck in All right, there. First thing I want to know, Mike, you said you were at Margaret Thatcher's funeral last year. What the <laughs> fuck was that like? Pretty mental. Yeah, that was, was mental. Pretty yeah, mental. Was it fancy dress? <laughs> it was, yeah. Yeah. I went as a Tudor. A Tudor? Yeah. A Tudor. Like you know the Tudors. The Tudors. It's a Tudor. A Tudor. Armchair. <laughs> What the, what the fuck is a tutor? Well, you tutor. didn't have to be on the list or anything. Like, what, really? Just turned up. Quite a slack door policy. Yeah. yeah. People just coming and going. Yeah, I had sunglasses on and. But you, know. you said you were a pallbearer, weren't you? Carrying the casket. <laughs> I was, yeah, but like I kind of I dropped out the last minute. I'm not sure about this story. You were quite drunk, and <laughs> you said you saw the coffin go past. Was anyone carrying it, or did it just hold her past? <laughs> <laughs> I believe she was. I read that in the paper. She was the first one to use a hover coffin. <laughs> like Star Wars. Hover, hover coffins coffin. just came out oh. back then. Oh, oh, the like, like a speedos. land speeder. Girl, that that would have been awesome. When I was a kid, I really wanted a land speeder. I wanted one. I, wanted I had bad. one. Did, no, I, you did. Well, I, really I did. Well, I had an future. actual. I, no, no, Star Wars. Star Wars oh, land speeder. I had one. When? I built the fucking thing myself. Buzz, when? No, like, <laughs> well, if you had a built a land speeder, you would have definitely you showed it up. I built, we well, I mean, it didn't the actually go anywhere. Bubs. No, there's no way you had a land speeder. No, it didn't move. I mean, it was just up on blocks. Oh, what's up? <laughs> How many drinks have you had? I've had six doubles. Yeah, you're fucked. That's what's going on here. Well... It's all right, yeah. let them drink. We're on vacation well, right now. This is kind of cool. We're in a different country. I'm getting pretty fucked up. Uh, I guess How you can't you? see us right now. Noel has a very interesting choice of hair and <laughs> So this is your new room. hair, eh? I've got a Marie Antoinette's wig on, yeah. yeah I like it. I think it's But fun. why? But why? What makes a man wake up in the morning <laughs> and say, I'm going to dress this way? I, I because don't it. Because it looks awesome, that's why. I'm just trying to bring back the dandy or the fop. I thought if I wore this, then maybe people, you know, pretty soon they'll be... Ten of us. Oh yeah, I guarantee you. Ten thousand of us. Months you watch in six months, the Gap's going to be selling that wig. <laughs> so we've got some great new English uh, snacks here. These are actually these taste very similar to snacks. The Pringles are the same things that we have home. These right. fucking things here are good. I don't know what they're called. And those little onion ringy things are pretty decent. These oh, are not English. English either. Oh, they're not. Yeah. Fuck. What do these taste of? Because I can't work it out. Onions. No. Okay, it's different. It's de it's not it like an onion. Got like it's like a cardboardy kind of flavor to them. Well. These are like salt and vinegar puffed uh, fry kind of things. Like if you bought a, like a SIM card and then you ate the packaging. <laughs> that's what it would taste like. That's kind I of I think that tastes like yesterday. Chinese will These taste like yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like yesterday. I don't even know what you guys are. You guys are fucking sick. We actually well. brought these in as props. These were from your show. <laughs> these were on the craft table of one of your shows. Both. The Mighty Boos. 
No, this was from Luxury Comedy. Luxury Comedy, yeah. wow. About three years ago, when we brought those in, we thought you might recognize well, them, but get... you've been eating them. Those are probably poisonous. <laughs> Getting reunited with old props. With old props. I remember this guy. You remember him? This guy was good. He was closer to the top when he was in Luxury. He's sort of sunk down to the bottom now. This is, is Toby, this is his wife. That's Toby. That's Toby. Toby. Name the the yeah. Ring. Yeah. yeah, Toby's wife, Sandra. Adam. <laughs> Remember this guy from Margaret Thatcher's funeral? <laughs> it was Chimney. That's Chimney. His name's yeah. Chimney. He used to be a lot taller. Oh, that's Linda from Accounts. She does all the admin. So, how are you guys? Thanks for coming to our country. Well, oh, thanks, thanks for, thanks for uh, pretty fucking happy to be here. I was here for about 11 seconds and I almost got killed by a fucking car because I didn't realize the, everything's backwards here. I don't know if you guys got that fucked up or if we got it fucked up, but we drive on a different side of the road over there. Well, Ricky, they've, been, they've had a country much longer than we have, so I guess we fucked it up. Well, why did we fuck it up? Why not just have it the same? It's fucking stupid. Oh, yeah, we've got to talk about this. Who was driving on each side of the road first, really? Because, like, didn't we have the model... Uh, the T Ford going first before these guys. No, it's like saying what came first, the chicken or the yeah. Leg. Like what the, the fuck happened there? The like leg. we had cars, right? Should be Canada and yeah. car. <laughs> no, not Canada. I think the United States did. But what? What happened? Henry there? Ford. <laughs> yeah, Ford. Yeah, Ford. Henry Ford. <laughs> he runs. <laughs> yes. Henry Ford. There's a lot of things about Henry Ford people don't know. Like what? That he only had one lung. <laughs> yeah. his, le his legs were Nigerian. He did. He had Nigerian legs. He had one lung. How do you know he had one lung? <laughs> like, they weren't doing operations back then. My great uncle knew a guy that knew Henry Ford's caretaker. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. So your Bullshit. grandmother, Henry Ford. your grandmother's to bang Henry Ford. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I wish. I'd probably own a nice Ford today. A nice Ford Mustang or something. All right. Yeah. When Henry Ford invented <laughs> when Henry Ford invented the car, did he invent the car? Yeah, the Ford car. The Ford car. The Ford. It was a Ford. It wasn't a Mustang. Did he invent cars or just the Ford car? Well, the first Ford car was the first one. Was, was it? it though? The Model T was. Model That's a good T question. Ford. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not buying it. He didn't invent the wheel, did. did he? He invented no. the horse. A lot of people might have invented cars at the same time around the world. No, Henry oh, Ford shit, invented man. the wheel. His great, great, <laughs> great, 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 great grandson. Who was a caveman? <laughs> invented circles. He invented circles. And my then... uncle invented circles, and that's where he got the idea for the wheel. It's a similar invention. <laughs> and that's is that where Roy Circles came from? He's one of my favorite characters of all time. Oh no! <laughs> Roy Circles is a little <clears throat> chocolate finger. He looks a bit like this, but he's brown. And he says things like, "Last night I woke up and there was blood in my pants." <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, Bubbles, he showed us some of the clips from your shows. We've watched some of them. Really drunk and high. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you guys on when you're got? You're doing the show. You're definitely on acid or something. Am I correct here? Or? Toast. No. We just what? like lemon toast. Juice. toast. You're lemon eating juice. toast. Lemon <laughs> juice on toast. And lemon juice. We don't really. Uh... Lemon juice on toast will get you right out of her. <laughs> I, I won't do that to when you. When I'm man. super, super fucked up, the show makes a lot of sense. But when I'm not, <laughs> it's a documentary. I don't know. It's super it's out in the news when you're not. I just lie down when I'm really fucked. Mm -hmm. Sort of start, you know, playing with a Hoover. I can't really concentrate. <laughs> no, we just we show. just sit there and, and we Hoover? get a knock on our door with the camera guys, and they show up and they start shooting it's shit. Just, it's easy. It's just your real life. It's just well, <laughs> yeah, most of it is, but I mean, Ricky, he, there's, he does a lot more things that are really more fucked up. Which I'd like to be doing now, but I haven't been able to track any things down <laughs> to make me fucked up. <laughs> like we, well, okay, we we can get a swan. We okay, can, we tried. Oh, no, a we swan. want I, I, Mike. We want weed. We don't want swans. No, want I would like to have a swan. Hash. I'd like to have a swan named Daryl in here walking around <laughs> a with a little World War II helmet on, <laughs> with little glasses. What I meant about Pete Docker, because you can see a photo. There's a shock out there called Snappy Snaps. I saw Pete Docker in there. I imagine he knows someone who could get you a swan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could get your weed. <laughs> All right, well, that sounds good to me. I need we're to get. We're not bringing a swan on his fucking smoke these lungs. And the, will the swan have clown shoes on? I fuck, I would and love it. With clown and shoes. a bib. I would love it if he had a bib. But the best thing that I've heard all day is that you've got two ghosts. What are they called? 
Paul and Stanley. Wow, but not Paul Stanley. No, not Paul Stanley. That's, that guy's from Kiss. Well, that yeah. this guy's It'd be from awesome if Paul Stanley was a ghost. I know. Does Paul Stanley have a sheet over his head? Can you imagine being haunted by Paul Stanley? That would be the best thing ever, He'd right? be just running around banging broads. <laughs> and stir in his fucking eye. Just there at night going, come on! Bang. He'd have a sheet over his head and then with a little hole cut out like a star. It would be uh, amazing. Okay. Him and then Gene tongue. would be next to him with his tongue coming through like a glory hole. Oh, Gene's got the tongue. It's a glory hole. A glory hole. <laughs> well, you know, a glory hole is just a... Oh, don't worry, that didn't make sense. No, it's like a glory <laughs> hole where we're from. You, people it's take out their real. wings and they stick it. Yeah, in that's what he's saying. Man. Like, his Gene Simmons would so be under the sheet with his tongue coming through the hole. Like he's, like he's propped up at a glory hole, fishing around in there. Mm -hmm. that's is that what... That, I mean, I've heard about those things. Uh, yeah, man. I don't know. So you've seen Paul Stanley's cocks. <laughs> no, Ricky, what do you fuck? No. He's a ghost. Remember you used even to draw? Remember, in, remember when we now. were little and I used to draw pictures of Kiss and you used to draw pictures of Paul Stanley's cock? Oh, shit, Bob. <laughs> See? Remember? That's a fucking lie, man. So Paul no, Stanley's no, 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 naked no. ghost is haunting no. your voice. Is he getting bad with you? No, 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 everybody <laughs> fuck off. Is he a set? Is he a set? There's I'm not fine. a gay Paul Stanley haunting me, okay? <laughs> That's not happening. He Come gets on. his fans no, there is There's a bisexual Ace Freely haunting me. <laughs> Sir? Yeah. How was that going? I saw Ace Freely at the airport and I asked him for a photo and he said no. He oh, literally It got, wasn't him, it was his went, ghost. It was his ghost. <laughs> he couldn't hold the pen. He tried to pick the pen up. Um, he said you should go around Julian's house. He said uh, there's a glory hole. There. <laughs> he's glory said, hole that would be trail. amazing to try to there's, get an autograph not. from a ghost. And he's like, I would, but I can't lift the pen because <laughs> yeah, I'm a exactly. ghost. And he just does that, and he doesn't get anything. He's a ghost writer. <laughs> That was a real joke. That was a, that was a nice joke. Can we delete that out? Because I don't do real we don't, jokes. We don't delete anything. Out of, accidentally I sometimes do a real joke and then I take it out, out of the show. <laughs> you don't like doing real jokes? No. <laughs> I like Are jokes you? to be disguised as jokes, but not really jokes. jokes. Here's, here's something that pisses me off. Uh, I love it here, but we are on the tour bus the other night. We stopped at this convenience store to get some liquor and some and some booze, which was fucking expensive. No fucking ice. Are you kidding me? You guys don't sell ice in convenience stores we, around we here. We do not freeze water here. Why not? We just don't like the shit. They lost the it. recipe in 1766. <laughs> it's this because it's too it's cold outside. You just put your <laughs> No, 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 no. It's not. It's just, I mean the temperatures are basically the same at I've all. I've got an ice dispenser in my fridge Well, door. you do, but like Why what about at gas around? stations? Are you, you kidding have me? You should have to come round. How to cycle round. With Paul Stanley's ghost. Well, Put ice in your pants. <laughs> through Norm, Gene there's Simmons no glory Paul Stanley ghost, okay? Would have fed I'm ice my through Gene Simmons' glory hole. There's none of that is happening. your fiery pants. That's not happening. <laughs> if you go to a petrol garage, they'll have ice. No, they don't. We were we went to like five of them on the way here. From Heathrow. There's a conspiracy. There's a conspiracy. And Heathrow. Oh, what you don't, ice are you Heathrow talking about? Got a role yeah, yeah, just like, just like H2O, ice. Like this, this ice. There's ice in that. Right. Wow. I mean, I know. I've got an ice dealer if you want. Just to, to no, freeze his water. I think we're talking about a different type of ice. I've got actually, talking to Paul Stanley, I've got a kiss. Um, you know, there's moulds for ice. I've got a kiss one. A kiss ice tray? Uh, yeah. That's cool. What does it make? Little it Paul make... Stanley's? <laughs> yeah, it makes yeah. Paul Stanley's frozen peanuts. <laughs> uh... yes. No, it doesn't. But um, it just, so I think it spells out the le like little letters, like the K. They're just letters then. Oh, nice. Yeah. No, no, it's a kiss one. It's a kiss one. But you can one. make other words of it, so I think in a way. Well, Gene there's Simmons... not many words you can make out of K I S S. Sick. S-I-K. Zick. Sick. There's not many. Sick. Yeah, that's true, actually. So it's basically just a kiss ice cube tray. It's an alphabet ice cube. I wish we had one of those. So we're here, in, we're here in fucking London for yeah. a couple of days. Is there anywhere you guys recommend, we, like, what should we see? Abbey Road. At, well, we were supposed to do the podcast from there today, Fox live six. from Abbey Road. Yeah, but it was raining, and these lot all went, oh, we can't film now, it's raining. I know, I would have I I sat there in the fucking Buckingham rain. Palace? It was chipper. You know Buckingham you can, Palace. You know you can make ice out of rain, right? Yes, I have before. <laughs> All right? It's nothing new to me. Oh, I've had rain water. But when you're here and it's like 70 degrees or 16 degrees, whatever, you're not making ice. No, that's true, actually. And no you're, you're drinking. Who's got time to make ice? I haven't. 
I don't. Nobody I'm does. always doing podcasts. I haven't got time to make There must be lots of cool <laughs> shit to see. Like, I like to go on one of those. It's like a bus, and then there's another bus on top of it. And, Double I mean, decker. Yeah. Is that what they call it? I mean, it, it would suck if it's raining, because some of them, they don't have a roof on the, the sucker. <laughs> Ricky, one, what the fuck are you talking about? Just to get on one of those, get a little baked, and maybe drunk, and roam around, and just check some shit out. <laughs> Might be kind of fun. Yeah, that'd be nice, but not in the rain, right? Might be able to organize that for you. I like this Buckingham Palace idea. What's the Buckingham Palace? That's where the Queen lives. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Were you at- right. I used to work there. I worked for the Queen once. Fuck off. This really? is no, another work. story like Margaret Thatcher's <laughs> funeral. It I've got a lot of royal stories. So. It manifests that um, you just went I'm, past I used there. to, I do, I do mm-hmm. hospitality. Okay. And um, I was uh, for the queen. The, yeah, for the queen. And <laughs> that's pretty bad. I had like a big event there. <laughs> you better be and careful I what you say. I was looking after the queen. Looking and, after her? Yeah. What way? Oh, oh, well, anything like she him. needed. Anything I heard she, she was a wild one. Is she wild? She, yeah, she, she, yeah, she turned up in her slippers in the morning. Oh, wow. Was she doing forward rolls? She had like. You can't say stuff like that. <laughs> this is our queen. Don't give these guys ammunition. Is she in a litter? I love, no, I love She asked for a drink in the morning about uh, gin and tonic. You're going to get five now. And um, I had to get a drink. I, I yeah, love that's, awesome. that's true. I Did love she? that the Queen rolls down. Yeah, the that makes her like that makes her cool. Okay, what time were you serving these drinks at? This is important. Is this? It was out at twelve. It was. It was after twelve. After 12, are you sure? No, oh, see, that's now I love the queen. A, I love yeah. the queen way more. I got a lot right. more respect for, for the queen now. You said it was 11 the other yeah. day. Yeah, I know, but you know. Did she have ice? Did she have ice? She's ice. not blind. <laughs> ice in her drink. <laughs> no, she didn't have ice. See, even the queen can't get what, ice. What did she drink again? Gin and tonic. She asked for brandy, tonic, but we didn't have any brandy. So I, I had to say, I'm really hot, not on the rocks. I had to say, I'm really sorry, mum, because you call it mum, not mum. Mum! Really sorry, mum, we don't have any brandy. Mum. Mum. Mom. Not mom. Right, I don't know if I'm out of line, but this, no, this, this kind of turns me on about her. Like she likes to drink before <laughs> noon. That is no a ice. She's, she's, a, she's, she's like, a queen. She can do it if she wants. She can do whatever the fuck she, she wants. Do whatever, absolutely. If she, she asked me to paint her nails, I would have had to do it. Done it. Yeah. Really? She could say, chop me up some, chop me up some gack. She could. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody would have to bring it, the royal gack. Gack, what's <laughs> gack? gack. Uh, her security guard, he's like gack. really posh. Gack, what's gack? gack? That's what we in London call drugs, isn't it? Oh, gack. drugs, like her, her sec- drugs. <laughs> her security guard looked me up and down and was like, you're a short fella, have you considered being a jockey? Are you Mexican? <laughs> was he attracted to you? To be fair. <laughs> he was attracted to you. Maybe he was. He, he gave me his number. Did if he that s- we, we meet up, we go kayaking together. Did naked. he saddle you up? Naked, <laughs> naked to yeah. you. Are you a jockey? Did he make you ride him around? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I think that the thing is about the Queen is um, you love the Queen in your country, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. well that's because yeah. we've got the same Queen. Yeah, the Queen she's is still sort of, she's that's, on our money. She's like our figurehead. That's who I'm queen. talking about. Who are you talking about? The Queen Bee or the Queen? <laughs> or Freddie Mercury? We were talking about I'm Queen, talking the about band. The I was talking about Queen, the Freddie so Mercury. And what about Brian May? You remember when he did a guitar solo on the Queen's roof? On the Buckham Palace, yeah. Yeah, is that Man. because he's in Queen? I've only just got that connection. But, uh, Oh, maybe. Maybe. I, I have no idea. Maybe. He called Prince, Prince Louis no out of his booth on hair. About. That was a badger. Saddled him up. It's a badger. It's not real hair. Do you remember that when he did a solo off of the Yes, room? I do. Yeah, they, they had a wind thing, didn't they? A wind, what's it, what are they called? Wind they had, fan? They had fireworks in blasting off. Fan. Behind. We called it a fan. <laughs> I think it was a bit over the top, Hurricane. to be fair. But, yeah. but why was he doing it? Was it there was a, for the Jubilee, wasn't it? Or was it just he just took it upon himself? He wasn't supposed so to be out there, he wasn't allowed that way. On the Queen's roof. He can't help himself. He was cleaning the gutter out of leaves and he just, <laughs> <laughs> he just thought he'd do a solo while he was up there. Have you, have That's you, awesome. Have you, you met know, any other famous people besides the Queen and Freddie Mercury B? Do you know what we do freeze in this country? Guitar what? solos. Guitar solos? Yeah, we don't freeze water, but we freeze as how Brian you, May how does. How does that work? <laughs> as Brian May does a solo, as it comes out, that solo, we freeze it. And we've actually got all of those guitar, You've all the guitar hit solos since 1965, frozen in a museum. We've got Jesus. a couple of Hendrix ones. Mark Knopfler. We've got, a, yeah, we've got the guy from Mark Knopfler, he's fantastic. <laughs> he froze one of his solos. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, you, so you, it's like a hand solo thing. It's like a frozen thing. And then you, yeah, you take it out and then you can hear it. 
Yeah, in you years guys are, to come. You guys are fucked up. Like, that's, like, that's totally, that can't happen. But imagine it, in you years have, to come. I have the recipe yeah. for carbonite in my shed. I know how to make carbonite. I can freeze anything. Do you think you lot will get frozen? I would like to be frozen. Uh, I don't want to be now? frozen. Now? Next to Walt Disney. <laughs> is he frozen? Why did they Walt freeze Disney him? Is. They froze him. Walt Disney's cryogenically frozen. Why did his fingertips? Why did they freeze him? He asked them to. He well, paid a bunch of money and said, freeze me. And then in the future, if you ever get the technology, wake me up. So I bet you, you know, at some point, Walt Disney's going to wake up and just be like... He There's going to be some new Mickey Mouse, like, fucking yeah. episodes coming out then. Oh, like, yeah. In 20 crazy, years. Yeah. Crazy Mickey Mouse. In the future. Yeah. You have to feel like you're quite important to get frozen, don't you? Like, and I'm, I've been pretty powerful in my lifetime, so I think we should throw, freeze me in case. Freeze me, because you're going to need because me. Because you're going to need me. In the future. <laughs> and he'll wake up and he'll be like, he'll start writing new Mickey Mouse cartoons, but Mickey will be all <laughs> fucked up like he was frozen for 75 years, and he'll be all... His hands oh. will be canoes. Yeah. Like, it's weird, though, because in the future, aliens will be quite evolved, and then this sort of guy in a suit with a moustache will just come out talking about a cartoon mouse. <laughs> I think yeah, they'll probably go. kill him immediately. You're talking about aliens. You don't want to get bubbles on aliens, because uh, no. it gets oh, scared shit. Oh, no, I've hours. seen fucking aliens. You have you been aboard a ship? I, I've <laughs> seen ships. I've seen them land. <laughs> I have, Julian. You're never going to convince me that I didn't see alien ships. I've never been on an alien ship, Bubs. Maybe, maybe not. We were also on <laughs> mushroom and hash brownies that night. Exactly. You yes, were we mushrooms. were. We were on mushrooms and a lot of hash, but I believe I went on an alien ship. <laughs> All right. Well, as long as you believe it. That was just Jacob was looking. He was waking you up. And and no, because things were probing me. There was probes going around. There's us, <laughs> sticking things in different places. No. It's sparklers, those little sparklers were trying to fucking wake you up. <laughs> that was a kebab school. Eh? Uh, you know, I was at a barbecue <laughs> where they were making kebabs. That was Paul Stanley. He's frozen penis. <laughs> I'm frozen. I, like the, I, I love the idea that you've seen names. You're quite paranormal, you lot, because... When yeah. I'm, you've seen, you've got ghosts living in your house. I have ghosts that no while in the trailer. You've seen the UFOs. Ghosts. Have you had any encounters with you're, Bigfoot? You're a witch, apparently. Apparently, I no, no ghosts. So every time Bigfoot. I see a ghost, I just know that I'm just really fucked up. Like, you <laughs> definitely have, you've never seen a ghost, I guarantee it. I'm going to say right now, for the record, don't believe in ghosts. I think they're bullshit. <laughs> All right, okay. So if there's any ghosts in here, fucking come aboard me. Let's see what you got. I liked that one in the TV in Poltergeist. I thought that was quite a good place oh, yeah. to have a yeah, ghost. Oh, yeah, that was cool. What about Bigfoot? Have you had any Bigfoot stories or encounters? Fuck, don't get him. Noel, why'd you have to bring up Bigfoot? I fucking guarantee you, I've seen at least 15. You haven't. 15 he, There's been no reported sightings of Bigfoot. I he fought a Canada. fucking eight foot. No, he I mean, old West Is he really bugs. blurry? Do you think he's blurry in real life? He's blurry. I fought an eight footer. No, you didn't fight an eight footer. In the woods out footer. behind old no, McGonagall no, no, Farm. No. Well, I've... I thought we, one night we saw one, but it was just Julian in a big fucking stick. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> we beat him with some bats. No yeah, thanks, boys. And See, another time we thought we saw another one, it was Sam, living in a cave in the woods. So Have no. you guys ever seen any London aliens? No, not really. Because I've seen, you know, on YouTube, there's been spaceships hovering around London. Well, yeah. Well, you spent way too much time on YouTube. Fuck I it. saw George Michael once shit. at a party. What was he Did doing? Did you? He's in, yeah. I was in a party next door to his house and he said we could use his pool. So we all jumped over the fence and he came down in speedos. Is he an alien? <laughs> and a silver jacket on it, that's massive. I he heard got, that the he place he got, got caught cranking one off is around here somewhere. <laughs> he got caught that time? Do you know that, right that store that you can see through the window is called Snappy Snaps? That's, that was a, a different branch of that that he drove his car into. Are you kidding when me? When he was big. Yeah, he was, he, he he was, was big. big. He was yeah, big. He drove yeah. the car into Just snap, weed. Then he, then snap he, then he fell asleep. Then he, when he crashed and fell asleep. He was only he going like there. four miles an hour. Yeah. Oh, amazing. so he just like <laughs> idled <laughs> into a store. And he woke up, he drove into yeah. the store asleep, and then he woke up and he yeah. was in a photograph store. <laughs> That's, That's convenient. Uh, I love George Michael. <laughs> I love great. George Michael too. Ricky used to go out as him on Halloween. He used Not to dress true. up as George Michael. Not true. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. I went out once. Wham shirts. I went out once, but yeah. That's George Michael. I guess so. He had the Wham him. shirt on, you know, back in the Wham days. Yeah, I can see that. Actually. Totally. I can totally see a bit of George Michael in well, you. Well, Julian and Bubbles were Duran Duran that year, so it was. 
Oh, the guy at the cooler. We want Duran. 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 What are you talking about? Yeah. Where are you? That was Charles and Eddie. <laughs> I can't even remember who the fuck we were. I once we went bus. to we were... uh, a party. You were Simon LeBomb or LeBeuf, whatever the fuck his name was. And I forget who you were, bro. No, we were Simon and Garfunkel. No, he was Simon, I was Garfunkel. I used to go to fancy dress parties as Lady Di. It was, wasn't like a sick thing. It was just, I was, you know, quite respectful about it. And it sort of it made me feel quite good. <laughs> what did you wear? I saw, yeah, what I saw the picture. It was quite arousing, actually. <laughs> what, me as Lady Di? Yeah. That's not right. Is, that, is it wrong to fancy your own brother? <laughs> your own brother, they, you know. <laughs> brother so fucking, wrong. what's that about? <laughs> brother fucking. They go, I can't oh. believe you went as George Michael. That goes well against I don't the really remember any of that, but apparently maybe it happened. I, I, I went out as Billy Idol that, that year. Yeah, but that makes sense. Yeah, it's <laughs> Billy Idol. Rebel Yell. We're the Rebel Yell! So you guys got anything cool coming up? Anything that we might want to check out? We both retired, don't we? Is we there any think... chance you're going to come over to Canada? We'd like love any chance? to. I, we're in the middle of talking to someone about it. So no, hopefully, awesome. cool. just a guy on the street, so it probably won't happen. But we're, no, we're in a guy, and he's just crashing into Snappy Snap. So, no, we are, we have, we're doing another tour here, and then we're hopefully coming to America. Well, make sure, you, make sure really you let us know if you're coming, and we'll... We'll tell everybody. Maybe you could play at our sponsor's bar. I'd love to do that. Yeah. The Elma Combo. Yeah, the Elma Combo. Combo. Do, you, do you know about the Elma Combo in Toronto? <laughs> no. It's this old, like it's a historic fucking rock club. And this guy we know, he's he bought it and he's turning it back into what it used to be. But everybody played there. You too, the police. No, the, big, no, the biggest story about that place, uh, do you remember? Or we had uh, Elliot Trudeau, Pierre Elliot Trudeau, our prime minister, way back when. His wife. Hooked up with Mick Jagger in that club. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. Mick yeah. finger blasted her. Finger blasted her hard. Molly the... banged her. Finger blasted her. <laughs> Maca- El Macombo. <laughs> what does that mean? He just, you know, he gave her the little, little, little doodly doop down in the pants. <laughs> finger blasting. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, because I heard, well, I don't know, but didn't Keith get in trouble in Canada? And I heard that it was. Somehow, because Mick had been, as you so eloquently put it, finger, finger blasting. blasting. The Prime Minister's wife. Yeah, that's what got them out. Oh, happened. yeah, no, they got in that's big true. trouble. They yeah, got there was, big there was trouble. a lot of shit going on about that. Really? Yeah, there may have been some suck jobs involved, too. And now his son is he's <laughs> running for Prime Minister right suck now. Suck jobs. <laughs> suck jobs and finger There's blasts. All kinds of shit yeah. going back. Yeah, all I mean, went down at the Alma Combo, the fucking hippest club in Canada. We're sort of in the wrong era, aren't we? We I missed all of it. You are. Uh, you're definitely in the wrong area. <laughs> I'm from the 70th century. <laughs> hey, these fuckers dress me up like this. Can I just say for the... I just want to say we now did, that they not. turned up to me to do this. Bullshit. They drugged me and they said you will and play... And finger blasted them. Finger blasted me and a couple of suck jobs in there. <laughs> I well, finger blasted you. We didn't you finger did. Blast you. No, I didn't. You finger did. blast well, it's like, no, 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 no. Like no. Freddy Krueger, finger blast five finger people blast at the no. same time. Finger blasted me and up. my brother. Finger, my brother's quite a light man. Finger blasted I've got him. Blood in my pants. Finger blasted and him off the floor. Mike, I did not finger blast you guys. Everybody, I do not do that shit. He okay. Does do that stuff. Yeah. And then someone came in dressed as George Michael. I think it might have been Ricky. It might have been Ricky. And then what happened? I don't. Know. Singing you... fucking wham songs. Yeah. <laughs> Paul Stanley's ghost was there. Yeah, Paul Gene Simmons awesome. showed up with a glory hall. <laughs> <and> <laughs> and off his face. Hanging out. So, quite a time we're having. Just time yeah. in a glory hall. And you were there with Billy Idol. Margot Thatcher went past in a box. Yeah, that was not her view. That was just a she parade. Went by in a, <laughs> she went by in a hover coffin. <laughs> in a hover coffin, which you said you had a speeder, a land speeder. I did. Speeder coffin. Oh, I, love I had a land speeder. That. that would be nice to have one of those. Maybe when we die, we can have one of those. I fantasised about having one of those, did you? Oh, I did, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I spent yeah, a lot of, of time thinking did. about how they worked. Oh, I did too. I mean, you know, there's a lot of physics involved, and I tried to build the... <laughs> the anti-gravity machine, but I actually almost blew my legs off. Do you guys remember this? Remember when the Bionic Man was like, you know, around? Do you guys, do you know the Bionic Man? Yeah, Steve Steve Austin. Austin, Yeah. When I was like fucking seven, I I bought a pair of his sneakers, Steve Austin Bionic Man. I had the same thing. Jumped off the roof of my trailer, almost fucking broke my leg. (laughs) I thought I had Bionic uh, powers. I bought, I had mine, I got them at the mat. There used to be a big department store called the mat. And I put them on, you know, you used to put your shoes on before you leave the store. And I thought I was bionic, so I started running. 
and I ran right through a fucking plate glass window and got caught. I wonder how many people wore bionic man fucking sneakers. 458 stitches I got. I always wonder if you had a bionic cock. What? Well, the rest was bionic. Did he have a bionic cock? Oh, absolutely. No, it was just his eye, his ear, I think. That's four. Two legs and one arm. And his balls. I don't see a chick across the room with bang or something right here. I used to get in a lot of shit when you were a kid. I think Evil Knievel was quite big. Oh, fuck, that was bad. Fucking I remember huge. A lot of some, bad white boots. Some big kids were doing jumps and they were jumping over people. And I said, Can I play? And they said, Yeah, you can go last. So there's like six guys lying down and I'm last. And this guy comes up the ramp, lands, stomach, oh, tire fuck. in the stomach. And I just, I, he winded me so badly that I was puking. You're lucky you didn't break your fucking ribs. I had a bionic cock, so luckily I You had a bionic bionic cock. (laughs) My Steve Austin bionic balls on. You you said you could probably maybe get us a little hash or a little smoke from (laughs) Brian Dockett? Brian Dockett. (laughs) (laughs) No, he said that I saw Pete Dockett in Snappy Snaps, and he could probably help you out. I, myself, my friends. Only take opium. <laughs> All right, okay, that's fair. Fuck, some what opium. Fuck, I want to do anything right now, I guess. All right, well, I got to. Do you know what? These days, the most I do is chipsticks. And we've got some. I just feel like we're wasting our fucking. Like we should be out doing some shit. Let's go. Well, let's go do it. Some really good halloumi. That's, oh yeah. Yeah, it's We're into halloumi. Halloumi. Yeah. We're into halloumi and peppermint tea. Yeah. Halloumi peppermint tea. Not both. Not we don't mix them. We're not crazy. Okay. Well. All right, well, let's go do it. I got to piss anyway. What about Jaeger so, bombs? You telling me you like Jaeger bombs? No, no, I don't like Jaeger bombs. I'm just <laughs> trickling. What's a good, around. what's a good London shot that we could go have? Is there yeah. anything specific Ab- to London? That we absent. Could? Yes. Let's fuck it. Creme de Mont. Creme de Mont. Creme de Mont. That's my era. Absent. Creme absent. Creme absent. absent. I want to see some fairies. Then we'll go to a drive-thru and order an El- Elmo combo. A what? <laughs> What's happening? Elmo combo. What the fuck is that, Ricky? <laughs> I don't know. It's on. Um, it's that Elmo Sesame combo. Street. Sesame Street. You're thinking about the bar, Elmo combo. I know, but I just whenever I hear the name of it, it reminds we, me we do have a we have a chicken oh, shop here called Chicken Cottage. What Elmo? A what? Chicken Cottage. So. What's a chicken? Chicken Cottage. Chicken Cottage. Yeah, if we you got, got a good chicken, chicken Gary. Chicken Cottage. Chicken Village. We have Chicken Village. Chicken Castle. Sounds like this is going to be a fucked Let's up night, drunk. boys. Let's go get some liquor and just figure out all this chicken cottage. Uh, you see, you can't say liquor here because that's pie and mash gravy here. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's what? It's like a, we have it's pie like, and mash. It's like a green slimy on. gravy that you put on pies. That's called that's so, liquor here. Can you call it booze, then? Yeah. Booze. Let's get some booze. <coughs> booze. Smoke. Gotta take a piss and let's fucking end this. Okay, thanks. How, how will the night end? Oh, I think, what do you call it? Finger blasting. Probably. <laughs> well, either finger blasting or jail. If there's not Hopefully at not least jail. four finger blastings tonight, we know we haven't had a good time. And who's Bobby? Because everyone's like, fucking be careful if Bobby's over there. Bobby. Bobby? Bobby. Yeah, That's Bobby. the police right The police. Yeah. They call yeah. Bobby. Oh, Bobby's. Bobby's, Bobby's, Bobby's not beat. a guy. Bobby's on the what beat. they call the police. Okay. Don't try to finger bass Bobby. <laughs> well, they don't have guns. They don't have guns. Finger bass. So. They don't have guns. Oh, got fuck. Ca- Sucker punch. No, we have, they, have, um, okay. they, they have batons. They have batons. <laughs> and we've got truncheons. Oh, they they look plastic, but they hurt. Like Steve Austin's yeah. bionic cock. When let's they do it, come boys. Down on, yeah. Let's go get fired. Right, let's do it. All right, everybody. Thank you. First podcast. Podcast number eight. This not in Canada. Thanks for the fieldings. For being here. Yes, oh, thank you guys. Training Park Boys are oh, our favorite show, so I'll we're very happy. happy. And wait for the announcement for when they're coming coming over to Canada. We're going to get right out of Earth. Fuck yeah. Cheers. <laughs> we're not coming. It's supposed to be live at Abbey Road, but fucking rain. Anyway, we're still oh, God, good. Ricky, we just ended it. Cheers. No, we didn't. I'm supposed yeah, to end no, it. This cheers. Time. Ricky's well, supposed to end it. Ricky. All right, that's it. I'm throwing you as a Julian. <laughs> See that? <laughs> Put you get wa- one on me. You should have put your wham costume on for the yeah. end. Yeah, dumbass. All Fuck. right, cheers. See you later. I gotta piss. Love this part.